Dipid to strengthen numeracy, literacy programs, integrate peace competencies, and revitalize K-12. Welcome back po mga ka-Jesnabs. News po natin ngayon. February 2, 2023. Sabi dito, The improvement of literacy and numeracy programs and the integration of peace competencies will be some of the priorities of DepEd in making the K-12 relevant to produce job-ready, active, and responsible citizens. Vice President and Secretary of Education Zara Z. Duterte noted that the department will revitalize its reading, science, and technology and math programs as part of the Matatag Bansang Makabata Batang Makabansa Agenda. We will revise the K-12 curriculum to make them more responsive to our aspiration as a nation, to develop lifelong learners who are imbued with 21st century skills, discipline, and we will reduce the number of learning areas in K-3 from 7 to 5 to focus on foundational skills in literacy and numeracy in the early grades particularly among disadvantaged students, Vice President Secretary Duterte added. Duterte also highlighted the deep ed will embed the culture of peace in the curriculum, which would be vital in ensuring learners would lead the promotion of peace and order in war-inflicted areas. We will integrate peace comp competencies such as social awareness, responsibility, care for the environment, value for diversity, self-esteem, positive character, resilience, and human security into the various learning areas of the K-12 curriculum, sabi pa ni Vice President Duterte. The concurrent education chief also shared that DepEd is now finalizing the review of the K-10 curriculum while the senior high school curriculum is currently under review. DepEd likewise aims to improve English proficiency while recognizing linguistic diversity through the review of the mother tongue based multilingual education policy implementation. BP Secretary Duterte also mentioned that the agency will underscore the reducing of the number of learning areas to focus on what on foundational skills and intensifying the values formation of learners in curriculum and teaching. The department will also be transparent with curriculum guides and test scores and share test items with schools and teachers to strengthen the use of assessment. In addition, the department will engage with Commission on Higher Education Technical Education and Skills Development Authority or TESDA and industry partners to address skills mismatches of senior high school graduates. Nako, sana po ay maging maganda ang resulta ng pag-revise ng K-12. So hindi po totoo mga ka jesnabs na mawawala na ang K-12. Andiyan pa rin siya. E revise lang po, no? By the way, kung bago pa lang kayo sa aking channel, baka pwede naman dyan. Pasubscribe naman. Thank you po. Bye-bye.